talaga ang talentong Pinoy para mas makilala pa po natin siya. Makakasama po natin ngayon si Pierre Beatrix Madlangbayan, ang champion po sa isang Shakespeare competition sa Amerika. Good morning sa iyo, Pierre. Good morning. Hello po. Good morning. Good morning. Ayan, maaari mo buka kaming kwentuhan kung paano ka nakasali dito sa competition na ito? Um, so, sa school po namin, meron pong ano, competition. Like, it starts their course. And I was one of the students who competed po um, amongst like a, a three of us. And then I was chosen as a representative of my school, Garden City, to compete in the uh, in the state competition, which is which was in Kansas City, and then that that's how I won. Welcome and then amongst eleven other representatives in school. Well, congratulations, sayo ah. Ano naman ang nararamdam ni mommy mo na katabi mo ngayon? Champy po very proud ko sa kanya kasi yun talaga yung passion niya. Ah, yung anak ko kasi introvert siya. So, yung theater is yung outlet niya para, you know, makapag-express nung kanyang sarili. So, very active siya sa theater, sa school. So, hindi lang sa mga competition, meron din sila mga play production sa, sa, sa school. So, proud and very supportive naman kaming lahat dito sa kanya. So, uh, si Mami, no? Uh, kayo po ba ang ginabayan ninyo step by step ang inyong daughter? Para dito, sabi niyo introvert siya. Nahirapan po ba siya sa una dahil sa stage fright o yung may mga taong nanonood? O, oh, tsaka into theater ka rin ba, Mami? Ay, hindi po. <laughs> Biology teacher po ako oh, dito sa Kansas. Oh, okay. Pero, uh, nung nasa, nung high school siguro may mga involvement din sa mga, yung mga play production, tsaka nung college. Pero hindi talaga ako theater teacher. Um, paano po siya ginabayan? Actually, Um, dumating siya dito sa US noong 2021 after the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So, transferin siya dun sa school kung saan ako nagtuturo. And during the first months, medyo na nagbabother ako kasi naawa ko sa kanya. Kumakain siya mag-isa ng lunch sa school. And um, yun, tinatanong ko siya, wala ka bang friend? Kasi nakakaawa yun bilang nanay, di ba? Mm -hmm. Tapos yun, everyday kumakain lang siya mag-isa. So, Nagkaroon ng audition sa isang play production ng school. Then, nag-ano siya? <laughs> nag-audition siya. So, yeah. And I, did I force you? <laughs> yeah. So, yun. Nag-audition siya doon. And then, doon na. Nagkaroon siya ng mga friends. And then, Aww. tsaka siya nakapag-participate ng mga iba pang play production. Mm. So, every time merong play, basta hindi siya musical, nag-audition siya. Okay, audition. Yeah. And then, um, yun naman, very um, lucky siya na, na, na nakukuha siya palagi sa lead role. Oh. So, yung una niyang Shakespeare na production is yung uh, Macbeth, where she played Lady Macbeth. Mm. Okay, moving forward, uh, palagay niyo po ba ipagpapatuloy niya ito hanggang college? Oh, si Pierre, siguro tanongin natin, mm. ano, ano ba mga plans mo in the future? Well, uh, my plans but it's I didn't really have a goal um all throughout high school but now I guess knowing my strengths and my passion I'd probably want to um go in direction go in the direction of being an English teacher mm. or a director theater. Oh, yeah. okay balak mo bang dalhin din yung talento na meron ka dito sa Pilipinas uh hopefully po one day mm -hmm. one day ano sana di ba mm -hmm. Pero dahil sa competition na ito, nagkaroon ka ng scholarship. Tama ba, Pierre? Uh, yes po. In an exploration camp. Okay. Uh, ano ba ang uh, ma-advise mo sa mga siguro kapwa mo mga... mga interested sa... Interested sana. also hmm. na pumasok din sa mga play productions hmm. or sa theater. Just do it. Like... It's it's scary at first, and I didn't want to do it because I don't think that I I had the uh, the talent to do it at first. So like I was a bit unconfident, but you know just do it. You know you you will never know unless you try. Matano mo lang si Pierre. You don't make. Yeah, uh, ano yung favorite uh, literary works ni Shakespeare na 
na paborito mo? Well, since I played Lady Macbeth, it's Macbeth. Macbeth. All right. Well, it's nice talking to you, ah, Pierre Beatrix. At sana ay ma ma-meet ka namin soon. Kahit dito sa Pilipinas, ano, mm -hmm. na madala mo yung talent mo dito. Siguro last na lang si Mommy, ano po ang message po ninyo sa inyo po nga very talented daughter? Um, just keep on improving her craft and, you know, do better what dun sa kanyang passion talent and stay grounded. At saka, i-balance niya yung extracurricular activities niya at saka academics kasi minsan ang mundo niya umiikot na sa theater na medyo kailangan balansehin niya but other than that she's a good kid at saka kaya naman so yun, sobrang kami sa kanya and um, proud siyang kahit pa pa-represent Pilipinas baka pwede tayong happy one ano? baka pwede tayong bigyan ng sample ng monolog ni Pierre <laughs> Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them, the good often interred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But, but Brutus said he was ambitious and Brutus is an honorable man. Yeah. Wow. 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 Thank you again. Congratulations. Here, Beatrix Madlang Bayan and here, Mom. And congratulations po uh, to the both of you. Ano? Mm -hmm. And thank you for um, giving pride to the Philippines. Thank you.